Hello, my name is Matt English, and today we're going to be interviewing some crack addicts in this casual crack house behind me. So this is going to be real fun, so let's just dive right into it. So we're about to go into this uh, crack house right here. Hopefully we're gonna find some uh, crack addicts to interview. Let's do this. Sir? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Sir, can I, uh, are you on crack? Who are drugs? Who are drugs? <laughs> I expected there to be more people here. Could you, uh, can we interview you in, our, in the room over there? There he is! Base, white, butter, rock, crank, crack cocaine. You can inject it, smoke it, or snort it. Uh, I usually just snorted it because, you know, crack life. The first time I did crack, I was about four years. Three months, 28 days, and two hours old. Um, my buddies just in the preschool class, they just, they brought it out and the peer pressure, man, it just, I just had to fit in. There was nothing else I could do with all my preschool friends. So I just tried it and it went on from there. So my preschool buddies, like when I first tried it, they're like, oh, it's just one time, you just don't do it again. But I tried it for the first time and you just want it more. You want more and you can just, you just want it again and again, but you can never get back up to that same point where you did it the first time. Um, crack affected my life uh, miserably. I can't focus properly anymore. I, I'm not as smart as anything. I can't think things through properly. I just, I can literally feel it. I just blatantly feel dumber. Just like dumb and dumber. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I'm kind of still addicted to crack. I never stopped. I was just in that crack house out there, 